Anjo you have to say, yo, my dudes, how's it going? It's a beautiful morning and we're going biking on the Han River. So our first destination is Yoido Park. There's Andrea. We're gonna see the Han River, yay. Yay, it's nine o'clock, is it nine o'clock? Yes, it's nine o'clock, half yeah. past nine. Half past nine, damn. We tried waking up a bit earlier, but it was really, really hard. Plus the toilet was waking us up every couple of hours I think twice twice but yeah twice twice like last night the, like the toilet just wanted to flush itself late in the night just like that either that or a ghost had a big dump no, I wanted to say it's not haunted it's just a tech toilet <laughs> maybe it's like the who knows so I'm a bit sleepy we didn't have anything to eat we're going to buy something to to eat and drink uh, from a convenience store around the Han River that's going to be more convenient we have our bike app. Should be yeah, it should be a really really cool day. I think the fine dust alert today is not that bad anymore. I can see more clearly on the street. Air quality should be a bit better. So yeah, let's go on the on the tube and uh, get there. Come on. People are going to work. We're going cruising on the river. I don't feel guilty at all. A fast track in the subway, okay. And now we're looking for car 7, entrance 3. Enjoy the park now. Find the combini and get something to eat finally, because I'm starving. We can't live without food. We'll destroy cities, nations. <laughs> well, now I can because we've been eating so much. It's time to burn the carbs. It reminds me of uh, Tineretului. This, my friends, it's a bicycle highway. Yes, that wide. That's the river. Now where's the combini? Where's the combini, Andrea? Well, it's on the map that I need carbs. Yeah, the Han River is absolute huge. Absolute huge. I haven't seen a river like this I mean... ever. Like it. It's so wide. Last night, not last night, two nights ago when we came back from Gangnam we went to the taxi and I think the taxi had like 120, one, yeah, around 120 kph going across the, the whole river and it still felt long Wow, look at the mountains So, when you go through the park you can find uh, things like this which look not safe for work but there are kids around it don't know why or you can find things like this which is a bougie boat that blends into nature a disco boat. Disco, yeah yeah I could say it's a disco boat don't ask why because I know I've been asking myself the same question, like, why? It is what it is. Well, and what Andrea hasn't told me is that the supermarket is actually on a boat. My bam, so... Yeah, my open rock up to me, okay. So this basically this is uh, what was it beef pancake something beef mix John. yeah beef John. And I've got the tuna mayo kimbap. Oh, this is too big for my mouth. I know, I know, but really. <laughs> Okay, lots of bikes. 
So what you do actually is just see the bike, scan the QR code, buy a pass. A pass is one hour, one thousand one, two hour, two thousand one, which is insane. Basically, for two hours you, you pay just over one pound. Blows my mind. I don't know why, but uh, thank you, Sol. And you can see on the app all the stops where you can leave and take bikes, how many bikes there are on the app. Just the regular classic cycle app. But they're so good and they're well maintained. 10 minutes later. Yeah, the situation with the foreign credit or debit cards is starting to piss me off. Of course, we couldn't pay through the app because we have European cards. Even though the app was telling us to, hey, press here if you're a foreigner, we have a foreign card. Unfortunately, no. It's, it's a common issue in Seoul, especially for people from Europe, I think. Yes, yeah, I have MasterCard. people don't have this issue, so it's a, like a banking system. It seems like Korea is more connected to the US one than to the European one. So the European one is like very different. Yeah, and it doesn't make sense because they lack security. The reason the cars don't work, at least the UK cars, I tried Visa, I tried MasterCard, and they, they won't work because all the shops, all the apps, they just take the money. As soon as you put in the card, they take the money automatically from your account. There's no PIN number. And because of that, the app, I have a Monzo a card. She has a Starling card and Barclays card. And Lloyds. And Lloyds. So we tried everything. We've tried four banks. <laughs> like as soon in, in the UK, as soon as you put in the card, you're going to be asked a PIN number as a security measure. That doesn't exist here. Everywhere you go, no matter how like how big is your like spending if you're buying something super expensive or you're buying something from from a convenience store which is like less than a pound automatically as soon as you tap the thing money will just go poof so technically you can steal somebody's card and just go ham on it and just spend without without even like without a care in the world without knowing the security anything like that just having the card just tap 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 everywhere which sounds like a serious like a serious security issue they don't care about also because it's safer and people don't steal i get it like people really don't steal i was just talking to a lady in the shop and she was like yeah people don't steal here and i was like oh you should come to london they will steal the phone from your hand like in five seconds but still that you so, should yeah. still have a security section like hey put the pin here their, their security section while paying something is you have to put a signature like the electronic signature that won't prove shit if i steal your card i can sign anything i can draw a nice as my signature they won't care I know, it's a rant it's a rant because <laughs> now i, 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 I just lost cards, no? 45 minutes to an hour going in the sun and it's pretty hot still I'm, i don't want to complain about the weather but I just lost like more than an hour going up and down without doing anything, without accomplishing anything. And time, I can't buy time. That's my main issue in life, I can't buy time. I think what foreigner in Korea means, means You're US. Not from... No, US and that's it. <laughs> because everything is more like US friendly, but not European friendly. So, yeah, true. foreigner means US and that's it. The only country. So if you're from the US, <laughs> I Kudos hate you. To you. <laughs> I hate you. I really hate you. If not, yeah, sucks. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be us. And it's funny because some shops accept your card. Maybe if you're like a really well known brand outside Korea, MasterCard yeah. says, ah, it's fine. Take the money without the pin. Yeah, only if Young accepted the card. Uh, most convenience stores, they. Yeah. All like of them. the bank, because it's about the bank, not yeah. the store. All of the convenience stores, yeah. But some shops, no. Automatically, Monzo is like, no. Transaction refused, wrong PIN number used, or something like that. I mean, good thing they didn't lock our accounts. Because <laughs> we've no tried way. so many times, imagine if they locked our accounts. But hey, the only, the only way to like go around this, and just to like conclude the rent, uh, is just have more cash on you. 
which isn't a big deal because um, we always had cash on us most of the times while going shopping so that wasn't a problem now because we're in a park next to the river finding an ATM is a bit more problematic so basically literally had to go two kilometers back to the rental place which is here um, and yeah get the bikes here using cash because I for sure like our cars won't work here either 100% but at least we have cash on us but we have to get back here to drop the bikes when we finish riding them instead of just leaving them at a different point in the city anyway let's get on a bike you know what no <laughs> we're not going to take the bikes anymore we're just going to go fight the system <laughs> fight this yeah fuck the system fuck the system the system doesn't want us we don't want the system because <laughs> we've been going around up and down the river the river looks nice but we have so many other things to do on the list let's just go and do them we've seen the river we checked it looks pretty looks nice uh, so we're going to go to Gioido Park which is just a tiny bit up the road up the river actually we are in Gioido Park yeah but like the the, the, the touristic part of Gioido where everyone oh, gathers the, I love Seoul I sign. love yeah I love Seoul no I saw you I saw you <laughs> I saw you just to see that side then uh, Hyundai Mall and then the bridge, the sky bridge, and we'll see what, what comes next. But first, let's get a drink because it's hot. We need to hydrate ourselves. So, yeah, sorry, Soul, but you need to sort your shit out with your bike system and card system. For Europeans, please. Because at the end of the day, you're losing money. Don't lose that money, bro. Yeah, let's get something to drink back on the pontoon there's no more I saw you sign but at least we have the view <laughs> and you can still see Namsan tower up in the distance top part of it you can actually rent out rent out stuff for camping tent chairs wooden chairs that's really cool so you don't have to come prepared for straight from home you can do that but you just buy things from here rent up yeah rent things from here and get yourself sorted right outside the tube station yes some shade some shade in our lives this is one of the reasons i love this city so much there's so much vegetation and nature within the city i wasn't expecting it air feels more fresh because there's so many trees and and uh, things around like that so this is Hyundai Mall mm -hmm. <laughs> damn okay let's go let's go let's go let's go how to handle so many skyscrapers We also have robots to help you out. We also have this robot in the in the airport. Okay. Stop following me. I should never surrender. <laughs> well, it looked cute though. It looked like a cute robot. I see you. I see you. Don't fool me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There. Yeah. 2023 people. 2023. 
was like eight pounds so now we're going back to Gangnam to just uh, look for more stuff around uh, the area and we will probably finish the day with Lotte Tower to see the whole city from 400 meters I think it's like the second tallest tower in the world as always loads of underground streets it's better using this street because it's you can use fast track not only that, it's cooler. And uh, yeah, way faster in general. Woo, coming soon. Gentle monster just to try this uh, dessert towards the tower. Let's get it. My dear wife just says non stop, come on, let's go, but she's not going, she's not moving. I can't anymore. She can't, she can't walk anymore. She reached her end, yeah. <laughs> That's because you eat like the heaviest desserts. I woke up tired, okay? It's been what? Seven days? Six? Six. What day is it? It's Thursday. 